welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a Cezanne haul and just sharing with you some of the ways that I've been styling these pieces into my wardrobe over the last couple of um, months since I've gotten these pieces. So the first item I wanted to talk about was the Gaspard knit. This is a really interesting knit because it's actually reversible. You can wear it like it's a cardigan with the little buttons at the front, but you can also turn it the other way and just have it as a really simple, very classic white knit. So for me that was a really interesting um, selling point because I just guess I, I love the idea of having like two sweaters in one because it just kind of cuts down the amount of items you have but also creates different types of looks um, with the one sweater. This is the softest thing I have ever felt in my life. Um, it's 37% mohair, it's 37% alpaca and the rest is polyamide. So it's almost 80% wool and it is so so soft. It's definitely, definitely not that kind of hard itchy wool. So if you're worried about that or you're normally a bit iffy about wool, um, don't be. This isn't that cheap feeling wool. It's very very luxurious and soft. This Gaspis sweater I believe is one of their more classic um, knits and they do come out with it season after season in different colours and prints. So I've seen some really beautiful ones with which is like a light green with some gold stripes and I've also just seen them in really classic colours like black, um, rose and a lot of different other combinations so I'll link it down below and feel free to have a shop around because this piece is honestly um, the sweater of dreams <laughs> it's, so, it's so wonderful and so 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 soft so the next item I have is just this white eyelet blouse with ruffle details coming down the shoulder and um, just yeah through the front of the top and when I think of the brand, I do think of the beautiful blouses that they do have. I feel like they do so many lovely tops in cottons but also in silks and um, like viscose and all these different materials that are always designed really well and just have really beautiful details to it. So this is 100% cotton, it's very very light and breathable but it's also not delicate so you don't get like threads coming out of it which is a pet peeve of mine. And Everything about it just seems very, very nice quality. It is a little bit sheer, I guess, but honestly, I just didn't notice too much when I was wearing it. Um, so I don't think it's a huge concern. And I mean, there are literally holes in the shirt, so to be expected. This is exactly the kind of shirt I love for really lazy days where you just throw on this shirt and you tuck it into a pair of jeans and your outfit looks really put together, um, not overdone, and perfect for just a day out. The item that really kickstarted, I guess, my love for Cezanne, and one of the first items I had my eye on, is the Lynette blouse. I was honestly just really drawn to the fact they've taken like a masculine style and made it into a really, really feminine, feminine um, design. So it's meant to mimic that tuxedo style, with the two buttons, with the two rows of buttons going down the shirt. Um, but with the navy print and the little white flowers, I just think it's very, very romantic and feminine. It also kind of goes quite, it's quite low cut in the front, so it does drape a little bit. I will always, I will always wear a tank top underneath this, just because it goes quite low. This is actually 100% silk, but it's not that kind of wash silk, it's much more of like a satin, satin feeling silk. 
which is not my personal preferred type of silk, but it's also just really nice. If there was like one flaw about this, I would just say that size 34, I think, is just a little bit big on me. Um, it's very spacious in the upper half of the top, if you can kind of get a feel for that. So I am always having to like pull it forward or like pull it back so it doesn't go too low at the front. And I just feel like around the shoulders is quite a bit of room, which I think you'll be able to see when, when in the cutaways. I do wish they made it in one size smaller, but um, a beautiful top nonetheless. I also like the print, like from afar I think it just kind of looks like white polka dots on the navy top. But then when you move up close you'll see that it's like white little white daisies on the top, which is just really really pretty. The next blouse is actually the one I'm wearing. This is called the lady shirt. And as you can see, it's quite simple, like it just has these buttons down the shirt. Um, but it does come with a little tie at the neckline, which I think is very sweet. Because you can leave it open and have it be more like a scarf. You can tie it just quickly, or it can be tied in a little bow um, and then put kind of underneath the collar. So I really like the versatility of this again. I adore the print. So I was so uncertain about this top because I thought it was really loud and I wasn't sure how much I was going to wear it, but I want it so much. Um, and I think it's subtle enough that I don't get sick of it, but loud enough that it really does make any outfit so much more interesting and just adds a bit of colour and life into really simple outfits. This isn't silk, this is actually, uh, I think, a viscose, but they had silk options. So the thing about the lady shirt is that some of them are in the cotton, some of them are in 100% silk, some of them are like a viscose, and I chose this one which was the viscose. Um, that doesn't bother me, but of course like I probably would have preferred if this came in like a silk, but that is much high, more high maintenance, so give and take situation. I think I just mentioned that there are the cutest little buttons on the sleeve. I'll just do a quick close up if you can see that. Um, there are just these three little buttons, which is so subtle, but it makes the biggest difference when you're paying, I think, a slightly higher price point um, to kind of see those little details in the clothing. It just makes the piece feel so much more special, um, at least to me. I've paired this shirt with a little black pencil skirt for work. And for the weekend, I, I wore it with this corduroy um, skirt I actually got from Cezanne. This corduroy skirt is actually quite out there for me. It's not the kind of thing that I normally reach for. Corduroy would, reminds me of my mum because she used to wear a lot of corduroy pieces and I think she did that while she was growing up as well. And I'm not much of a mini skirt girl, but honestly I tried this on and I was so uncertain. But when I was actually styling it up, I really just kind of fell in love with it. Um, and I actually think I'm going to get so much wear out of this because I just don't have many mini skirts in my collection. This is 98% cotton and 2% elastane. Um, and the material feels really nice and thick. And because of the elastane, it does have that little bit of give, so it's actually quite comfortable to wear. You don't feel like you're being like really restricted, which is nice. There are little cute belt loops. I'm not sure if I would actually ever put a belt through it, but I mean, you have the option. And what else? I think this is definitely one of the items that they designed for the autumn winter collection to be worn with stockings. But I'm in the summer and I've just been wearing it by itself and I think it's equally as cute. So that's all of the clothing, but I have two leather accessories that I wanted to share with you. Um, this is my mum's bag actually, I got it for her. And it's the Victor bag in the heritage leather, in the black heritage leather. So it's made of a le vegetable tan leather material and it feels really really nice quality while being really lightweight. It almost reminds me a little bit of that APC half moon bag, um, just a little bit without being too similar. So there is a little zip at the top. I would say um, this zip could have been a little bit wider so that it opens a little bit better, but um, it's not a huge problem either. There's one little compartment inside if you wanted to put some cards there, and then there is also a zippered side, which I think is really nice. I actually have no idea what color the hardware is. Is it silver or is it light gold? I think it's light gold, <laughs> but it's really really subtle, it's not very yellow. Um, it is adjustable, but I found that this is really suited to girls who are a little bit more petite maybe, um, or for taller girls who don't want a crossbody. 
So I think with like more petite girls, you'll know what I mean when you just want a nice crossbody that ends at your hip but it goes to your knees. Um, so this actually looks really nice just kind of at the hip. You do have the ability to adjust it right now um, a little bit shorter and a little bit longer. So it's on the middle setting for reference sake. It's not a very spacious bag, oh, I think I'll say that. It fits, it will fit like a little wallet like this, maybe a phone, um, a, sun, a pair of sunglasses, and I think that's about it. It's not very, very spacious. But I think that's about it. I think it's a really simple bag, but if it looks very luxurious and very minimal, and the kind of bag that you'll have in your collection for years. I can't fault the leather, I think it's really beautiful. It is vegetable tan, so it does scratch very, very easily. Um, so if you're bothered by that, don't get it. I'm personally not, and my mom's not really bothered either, so it makes this bag really great. And then I think the same kind of story with this little purse. This is actually mine. I don't actually ever carry cash with me, so all my cards are in here. Um, it's really compact and small, very slim, so it fits into bags really nicely. It has a bit of a... it has some writing at the front. Honestly, no idea what it says. Something, 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 and then this is on and the address, I think. On the brown level, I can definitely see the scratches a lot more, also because it's in my bag and it does kind of sometimes hit the zipper as I put it in. But it doesn't bother me, once again, I think it adds really nice character to the leather. And I think this is, I personally think this is quite affordable um, for what you get. This is 25 euros, which, I mean, it's not cheap, but for the quality and for how long I feel like I'll have it, I think it's a really good buy. The bag is a little bit more pricey. The bag is quite pricey, I think. So other than that, I also adore their tote bags. Um, in my first, in one of my orders a few months ago, I got um, this tote bag. So it comes with this really beautiful print. I believe this changes from like edit to edit depending on their current like fabric and designs. But this is such a handy bag to have and it's just what I've been taking grocery shopping and also when I go out and take photos and things like that. It's just such a lovely freebie and so good to have. And then this tote bag is actually 5 euros and it's to support their demand um, initiative which is really really brilliant. It has a cute little Cezanne um, logo stitch on at the back and demand at the front. It's quite spacious and Honestly, it's like the cutest tote bag ever. So I think that, yeah, if you're looking to support a really great cause, um, definitely worth thinking about just adding to your order next time. If you want to know more about the cause, I'll link it somewhere below if you wanted to know um, like the social initiative aspects of the brand. But yeah, I think that's all I have to show you actually. Um, everything, all the leather goods come in this really beautiful pink box. And then it also comes with, which I don't actually have in here, um, a little dust bag. So, just for your reference. So, thank you so much for watching. Um, let me know if Cezanne is actually a brand that you like, whether you've tried anything or are interested in seeing anything reviewed. I assure you that this is definitely not the last time that I'll be doing Cezanne content. You'll probably be bombarded with a lot of content um, from the brand in the future just because they're very much the kind of clothing and the kind of style that I like. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you very soon in a new video and bye for now.